This year, appeals court has freed as the free presidential candidate Nabil Karoui from prison. This comes just days before the second round of presidential runoff set for Sunday. Karoui was detained in August uh, shortly before Tunisia's election on suspicion of money laundering and a fraud. CGTN's Adnan Shiwashi has more details for us. The presidential candidate left the Mornagia prison and greeted his supporters who gathered at his campaign headquarters. The Qalb Tunis, heart of Tunisia party, which was formed only months ago by Nabil al qarwi has reiterated its call for the postponement by a week of the presidential runoff election scheduled for Sunday. The decision to release Karoui is a positive step after unanimous demand for his release to guarantee a free and transparent electoral process. Election day should be postponed because two days are not enough for campaigning. The election authority reacted immediately. The EZ president declared that it will not postpone the second round of the presidential election. The electoral process is irreversible. It's governed by constitutional deadlines. The election campaign for the second round of the early presidential election began on Thursday, October 3rd and ends on October 11th. Tunisians will elect a new president on Sunday the 13th. Another movement had previously called for the release of al qarwi However, the Islamic party has refused to work with whom it describes as corrupt individuals. We will not form the government with people who are accused of corruption and money laundering. We want to govern with a coalition of parties. We only accept those who will fight corruption. Qais Saeed and Nabil Qarwi came first and second, respectively, in the first round of the presidential race. The election authority has called on Tunisians to vote en masse on Sunday to save the electoral process. Tunisian presidential candidate Nabil Qarwi has spent the entire presidential campaign in a prison cell, but still managed to galvanize his supporters and to come second in the first round, and now faces a runoff with independent candidate and constitutional law expert Qais Saeed on October the 13th. Adin Shawishi, CGTN, Tunis.